Hi there, it's Kara. Um, I just want, oh sorry, this camera's heavy. Um, I just want to show you how I make these um, dividers with tabs for my um, my home binder, my family binder. Uh, it's pretty easy, uh, but if you're not crafty, you may not know how to. So I thought I'd just run you through the steps. So I'm making um, I'm making more for this is going to be my reference binder of stuff that I'm not going to um, need to look at every day. So the first thing I did was I took um, a sheet protector that I'm going to put inside and I measured, I want them to stick out just a bit so I can see them when the binders close and these won't, they'll be wider than the page protector. So I measured it and then I cut it with my Fisker's trimmer, so it's already cut because I only have one hand, so I figured I'd do it ahead of time. And also it was just a little bit too long, so I did cut off, um, you can see it cut off this much for both pieces. And then what I did was I took my tape runner, which I don't think I'm going to be able to do with one hand because I'm not going to be able to pull the paper, and I just ran a couple, sorry, well, hold on, it better. Ran a couple strips down and a couple across the top, and then I stuck my page there like that and then I get something like this and then um, it can punch holes mine has two holes two ring binder um, then for the tabs what I did was I printed these off from Better Homes and Gardens site um, I'll put a link to what, what it is um, down below, and then what I did is I just cut out two at a time. I had this, and I actually ran mine through my Zyron um, because I have it and I got it for Christmas and I want to play. But you can totally use your tape runner and do on both sides. And then, oh, I can't do this with one hand. And then what I did was I just folded it over. You can see it's just a piece folded over and stuck. And I just eyeballed it. What I did was. I started on the, the top one and I put it just a little bit from down from the top. And then I took the fifth one, the last one, and I just went up a little bit from the bottom. And then, hold on, let me get this. Hector's cartoon is over. <laughs> I can only do these when, he's, when it's TV time. So um, Then I kind of eyeballed it from the middle. And I really don't, I used to be a perfectionist. I'm a recovering perfectionist. So you can see there's a little bit sticking out. I probably will cut that off because... I'm, I'm still a bit of a perfectionist. Hi, actor. Is your country cartoon over? Huh? So then I eyeballed the center, and then I kind of, with number three, owls are the cute. And then, again, I eyeballed the middle of one and three, and the middle of three and five Wah. to do those. Can you see? And then, um, then if you put them inside the binder, once they're whole punched, which they're not yet. Can you open that up for me, buddy? Oh, bread basket. This is my kitchen table, by the way. Um, once they're whole punched, they, sh they don't go past the edge of the binder. And I really don't care if they did. It just happened that they don't, which is better. But, you know, if they do, you can always make smaller tabs or um, push them in a little bit. But as long as the divider edge is as long as this edge, I guess, is past your sheet protector, it should be okay to be able to see to be able to see your sections once they're in your binder. So it's um, it's a lot prettier than you know the Manila with the color tabs. Just as functional, but um, yeah, if I'm going to be using this every day, I want these to be pretty. So plus I'm a scrapbooker. Any excuse to play with paper. It's a lot of fun. Okay, hope it helps somebody. Bye.